Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching. For today's video, I will be making some different shape wreaths or hanging decor signs. So I really hope you guys enjoy today's video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and now let's craft. Starting with my first project, I will be using this wire basket and this wreath. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the tag. Then on the wreath, I am going to take this apart. This is, I thought it was easy, but you do need some pliers. Once you're done taking this apart, you are going to take 12 beads out. I removed all 12 beads from one side and then all I did was just slide them to the other side so each side can have some wire out. I then put the wire through the basket and I twisted it at the end, as you can see right here. Once I was done doing it to this side, I did it to the other side. But as you can see, the hole that I chose was more towards the back instead of me doing it like in the middle of the basket. And this is how it looks. Now I'm going to add some greenery, but I don't want the stems to be showing. So to cover that up, I am going to use this burlap bag that I got from the Dollar Tree. You can actually use any burlap bag the Dollar Tree carries. So I'm going to use this side because once you flip this around, you're not going to see the back because I've actually used this already. I didn't throw away and I decided to save it and I'm glad I did because I can use this for this. Now because you're not going to be able to see the greenery, that's why I didn't mind. But if you have like a complete back, you can use the back and it's going to look a lot nicer. But anyways, I used this little part at the bottom that it was already like folded. So I feel like this went perfectly to the front. Before I glue this down, I just tuck all the bag in there, make sure it was nice and even. And then I cut off all the extra part of the bag. Once I had how I wanted it to be, I then started gluing this, but I only glue like the rim part to the bag. After I was done gluing this, I added the greenery. This greenery is from Dollar Tree. I will be adding two of these picks. And since spring's coming up, I did add some Walmart lavender. Now this part right here, I was showing you that you can add something to it. And that is it for this wreath. You can use this through all year round just by switching the greenery. For my next project, I'm going to use this wire basket. Now you can use this vertical or horizontal. The other thing I will be using is this initial letter. Now, as you can see, this is a Christmas one, which I got it after Christmas, so it was on sale. 
but Dollar Tree does scary letters that you can use they are a little bit smaller but Walmart carries some very inexpensive letters that you can use I am going to use the same string to tie it to the top of the I was gonna say the wreath to the top of the wire then I'm going to add two of the Dollar Tree picks together tie them in the center make a bow and just add this directly to the wire basket I didn't glue it to add this greenery to the basket I am using another piece of jute twine to just tie it and that is it you can add more things to this but I didn't because I think it looks so beautiful just simple this was very easy and inexpensive to make For my next project, I will be using one of these wood circles from the Dollar Tree. I thought of using this string as a hanger, that's what I left it on there, but I do end up taking it off later on. I'm going to start by using some painter's tape. I did want this strip or stripe of black that I wanted on my sign to be like sideways. Like I mentioned earlier, I do want the stripe to be black, so I used the Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. The next thing I did is I let it dry, then I removed the tapers, or the painter's tape, I'm sorry. I will be adding the word welcome to this piece of wood that I got from the Dollar Tree, but first I'm going to paint it white. To add the word welcome, I'm using some dollar, I was going to say some dollar general, but no, I got this from Family Dollar. These packs were a dollar each. Now, I did have a W from this pack, but I don't know what happened that I messed it up. So, I just used a W from a different pack that I had from the Dollar Tree. Earlier I mentioned that I did mess up the W, but now I remember how is because I tried to move these more towards the other side because I felt like I um, made it more to one side and I wanted to even it out. So when I removed the W, I messed it up. So that's why I had to use a different W. Using hot glue, I am going to add the welcome sign. So this is where I decided to change the hanger from the string to the leftover hanger from the back. I'm going to just glue it. Now so this looks like it's kind of glued in there, I am going to fold it. To decorate this, I'm using some greenery. Now you can use the Dollar Tree one, but I found this beautiful greenery that I got from Dollar General and each pick was just $1. I'm going to tie this using some string and then glue this to my sign. I will be making a bow using the burlap ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and some buffalo check ribbon. I'm going to make like a two-tone which I'm going to just glue this in the center of the burlap ribbon.
that is it that's all i'm adding to this wreath look how beautiful this turned out For my next project, I'm using one of these wreaths. These are from the Dollar Tree. Mine has a missing piece because I had used this missing piece for something else, which honestly I forgot because I've had this wreath for a long time. So what I'm going to do is just use some jute twine and wrap that entire wreath with it. The next item I will be using is this wood box, which I will be painting black. Once this is dry, I'm going to just add this little hello sign. This comes from this little pack that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's supposed to be stickers, but when I took this off, the entire glue fell off. So I just used hot glue to glue this. The next thing I will be doing is adding the wreath to the box. But one mistake I did is before I added the jute twine, I should have just made the dents. So then I would add the jute twine around the little holes I made. But because I didn't do that, I did have to move the jute twine around. So then I can add the wreath to this. Hopefully I made sense. But to do that, you do just have to push down the wreath form to the box and it makes like this little dent. So after I was done doing that, to secure it, I did add some glue. The next thing I did is just add some greenery, but because spring's coming up, I did add some lavender to this. So for this decor, you can use this like a hanging decor or like a tabletop it's totally up to you so because i did wanted to show you different ways that you can use this i glued some ribbon at the top to make this like the little hook or the hanging thing i then added a bow and that was it look how beautiful this turned out And that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because I would love to know. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time. Bye.